Hello YouTube and welcome back to my third MR1 video. Uh, apologize ahead of time if this is gonna be a little bit boring. Um, what I'm gonna cover today is from one of the comments from the first two MR1 videos, somebody asked about covering the software a little bit more. First thing I wanna say about that is I'm obviously not an expert yet. Um, I just had the machine running for a couple of weeks, but there is a program in there that I think is super cool that I'm gonna cover. Uh, and it's a facing program that's like a canned program that's on the software. The reason I'm showing you this right here, this is what I plan on being the first part I actually make. Uh, this is a obviously a tool holder. Those will hold ER20 collets and then I'll put end mills and stuff in there. Um, so this is the first thing I really wanna make, but I don't have the material for it. So since I had that comment and what I have done is faced a few things and I filmed it. I'm not gonna be filmed. I'll just insert the video. I filmed facing this. Um, and that block over there in the corner, you can see a little bit. I faced a few things with it. Um, but the program itself, that's a canned program, is pretty cool, um, in my opinion. So let's get into that, and hopefully you won't be too bored with this video. Okay, here we go again. This is like take four or five, trying to cover this for you guys. And I apologize. So again, covering this canned automatic facing program. That's what I call it. So first of all, you're gonna have your material inside the machine. Well, I shouldn't say first of all, you put it in whenever you want. You're gonna need your material loaded up and you're gonna to need to know your home at some point, your X, Y, and Z, zero. That's gotta be in there. And then you're gonna to wanna to write this program, which is to me really cool. You don't need Fusion 360 or anything like that for this. This is, That's what I like about this, it's right here. So you click on that button and then this information window whatever it's called pops up so you can load all the information needed to know for this program so and like i say to me it's pretty self-explanatory you need to know your size of your material you got your length and your width and your that's your y and your x if you get a little confused you can look at this it shows you a little diagram here so you put your size in and here is, it says your final depth that is your final depth and by that whatever you put there that's what it's going to take off I put 10 thousandths. If I put an inch, it's going to take an inch. And the reason it says final depth is because down here you have this option for finish passes. Sorry, it's blurry. So, so look at this example. Look, I took 10 and I did a finish pass of three thousandths. So what this did is it took seven thousandths and then a finish pass of three thousandths. So final depth, that's the depth of whatever you want to face off. Then over here beside that is the direction in which you want to face X or Y, your choice. Offset, I haven't messed with. There's been no need to. I don't worry about it. Uh, your tool diameter, this is obviously the size of your tool. If you're using a two-inch shell mill, that would be two-inch, and then you're going to choose your step over. I used a half-inch tool. I stepped over a little bit less. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, I used the can, whatever they said, step over 0.4, uh, mo you know, most of it. So it's just for facing. But if you only wanted to go half of the tool, you would change that to 0.25. You have that freedom, you can change it all. Now, obviously, pretty simple. This is your feed rate. This is set up for 50 inches a minute and your spindle RPM. Sorry, I still not don't seem to be focusing too well. This is set up for 6,000. Your toggle coolant. Uh, if you have a coolant system, I do. Um, if you, when you face it, if you want it to run coolant, you hit that button and the coolant will come on. Your Z-axis retract, that's the clearance up to 0.2. Um, again, sorry, it's still being blurry. And I've already covered this a little bit, the finishing pass. This is whatever you want the finishing pass. Now, the one thing I wanna say about this program that I personally have not got to work yet is this feed rate on the finishing passes. So looking at this, my feed rate is 50, uh, 50 inches a minute at 6,000 RPM. So according to the way this is programmed, I should get on my 3,000 finish pass, it should only run Half of that, it should run 25 inches a minute. This has not worked on anything I've done yet. I've changed that number and it hasn't worked. So I don't know. So over here is your home position. This is where you're saying your home is, which corner of the material. So once you get all that information in, you hit generate and your program will generate. And I'll show you a couple things. One, obviously you can see here, this is the program that you've written. And then right here is where it tells you what it is. It's automatic facing, you're going in the Y direction and your home is the back left. So real quick, just to show you 
how easy that is to change. Let's say you don't like that. You want to go, let's say, let's go X direction. And I messed up my home. I made the front right corner. So you change that. You hit generate program again. Program shows up. As you can see, now you're in the uh, X direction. And over here, it tells you automatic facing X. And now you're in the front right. So that's that software for that. Now let's go in and I'll insert the video of me actually facing this block. Got to run a canned facing program with coolant. See how it does. Right with you. <laughs> 